What's good everybody? This is Eric from MassDBs.com and today I'm going to show you how you can plug in your M-Audio keyboard into Fruity Loops. Let's do this. With your keyboard there should be a cable like this. One side is for the keyboard, the other side is for the computer, or just a normal USB. If you um, take a look back at the keyboard here, on the left side, there should be a button. This is the on and off button. This one in the middle, don't think about that. And this one is for the cable. I'm just going to plug in the cable to here and the computer. And um, I'll show you guys how it looks like. Alright, I've now plugged it into my computer and my keyboard. I'm now, now going to turn it on. You see those two lights right there when I turn it on? There's, there should be, be a blue light. As you can see right now, the keyboard does not work just yet. I'm going to show you how you can make it work inside Fruity Loops. Alright, I'm now inside a full studio, as you can see, and the keyboard, I'm pressing it now, I don't know if you can hear it. It still doesn't work. So what you're going to do is go to Options, MIDI Settings, that's for a MIDI keyboard. And you're going to go in here is the settings. Alright. As you can see here, you can see that in the input, the key rig, that's my keyboard, is plugged in, but it still doesn't work. So what you have to do is go to rescan MIDI devices. And I pressed it two times. Sometimes you have to press it one time or two times. If it doesn't work, work the first time, just do it twice and maybe your enable button is off then, then you have to click it again now the keyboard should work remember this enable button sometimes it's it's, it's uh, not enabled from the beginning so you have to click this so it's yellow and rescan this a couple of times and it should work um, yep that's it Yep. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe and uh, give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Peace.